Yunus Musa, an 18-year-old starting for Valencia in La Liga, born in New York City and raised in London, England, chose to represent the U.S. national team. Today, we're going to break down three things that already make him so damn good and why we have a lot to be excited about if he can continue to improve on an already incredible set of foundational skills. So what's up everyone, I'm Jake, this is FIFA America. I'm working towards my UEFA B license in England, and I love to break down players and coaching strategies, especially as it relates to the US men's national team. So if you like that sort of content, then you can subscribe to the channel to get more stuff just like this. And also, this is a YouTube member and Patreon exclusive, so if you want to see these types of videos early before you're watching this now on YouTube, then you can sign up to become a member of the channel or a patron and get these exclusive benefits as well. The first skill I want to touch on is his first touch. When Musa receives the ball, it stays so close to his body and it's always away from the defender. If he takes a bad touch here, then there are three Costa Ricans to take the ball in a dangerous area. Musa controls the ball so cleanly and sets himself up for a perfect second touch as well. This next one is crazy to me because he specifically heads the ball at an angle into the ground so that it stays close to him. I've almost never seen that before. Not only is his first touch excellent, but he reads where the defender is putting their weight and tries to take the first touch away from wherever the defender's momentum is taking them. Every first touch Musa takes creates a reference point for the opposition that they can't and shouldn't play aggressively to him receiving the ball, which in turn creates more space for Musa to turn and find dangerous areas. His first touch paired with the flair of Dest and Wea create triangles that completely disorganize the defense. His touch and passing gives trust to those around him to get them out of tight areas. By the way, these weren't just highlights, this was almost every touch he had in the Costa Rica game. The second skill set, which is so awesome to see, it's so fun to watch, is called scanning. Musa is always, 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 I can't stress this enough, he is always looking over his shoulders, finding the ball, checking his shoulders again, and constantly creating an image in his head of where the other 21 players are on the field. You'll see in this clip that he finds the ball first, checks his shoulder, checks the other side for danger, and then, when he does receive the ball, he gets his head up to find the pass. Incredible to watch. Again, the clips you're going to watch here are really just him constantly having his head on a swivel. This is Kevin De Bruyne level of field awareness. This is one of my favorites again, he sees this side of the field, checks his shoulder, then when the ball is still in the air, he checks his shoulder again to ensure he plays the right pass. I do want to specifically highlight this because he's one of the only players in our national team right now that actually checks their shoulder while in the process of receiving a pass. So while the ball is coming towards him, he's still able to know exactly where the defender is coming from and how aggressively they are coming at him. Now in this last one, he's going to play a pass to Tyler Adams with the defender bearing down on him. It's really brave, but since he knows exactly where the defender is and where their momentum will take them, it's actually not very dangerous and allows the US player Tyler Adams with their head upfield to take advantage of the space. 
The third skill set that I want to touch on is shielding and the way that Yunus Musa uses his body. He's really able to do this by using his body to turn defenders and find space. Now here's where we're going to bring it all together. The ability to beat a defender with all three skills, his first touch, his scanning of the field, and his use of his body creates a very dynamic attacking threat that the US has never had. So let's put it all together. Here, Musa completely dodges a defender's tackle and creates a situation where the Costa Rican left back, who was covering Timothy Weah, has to make a decision. That left back gets caught in the middle and allows Weah to run in behind. That never would have happened if Musa couldn't beat that first tackle and open up the space. In this one, Musa gets out of trouble while three Costa Rican defenders are bearing down on him. He receives the ball back from Weah and gets it out to Dest while the defensive line is disorganized. If Dest could have gotten a foot on this to Aronson, he was in on goal on his own. So what you're going to watch now is the first goal against Jamaica. I want you to notice how the defensive structure for Jamaica goes from very wide to very narrow as Musa dribbles into the box. His 30-yard dribble alone completely condenses the Jamaican defense and allows Pepe to take advantage of the line, trying to break back out into width. Okay guys, that's it for the breakdown, but holy smokes do I think we've found a very special player for the US men's national team. Again, please like the video so more people can find it, subscribe if you want more US men's national team content like this, and become a YouTube member or patron if you want to see videos like this before they hit YouTube to the general public. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.